Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome everyone to the second part of pre-processing. In this part we were discussing about the specific problem which has been faced when we try to do ordinal encoding. Now the problem was if the encoding is done in a specific category 0 to 1 or 0 1 to 0 1 2 3 something like that it's not necessary that the model will understand it as a categorical variable it can also understand it as a vector value which can affect the performance of the model to handle that specific kind of situation we have something known as one hot encoding what happens is in which the computer takes a, makes a specific set of features to which it represents one specific categorical value using a combination of zeros and one. Now that can be done using the DIC vectorizer, vectorizer in feature extraction of preprocessing. Now what we have done in scikit-learn from feature extraction we have called the specific function of DIC vectorization. Now once we do we make an instance of the same and followed by that I make a list of dictionaries which is containing three major cities that we have in our data set that is London, Paris and New York. Once that is done we need to convert them in a specific value such that the, it doesn't convert get converted into a vector value. Now what we do with that is once we have called the encoder, we do the fit transform of the data that we have and convert it into an array format. What happens with the same is, we have now three values, London, Paris and New York. Now it gets converted as London representing 100, Paris representing 001 and New York being represented as 010. Now what happened is one hot encoding returned us three features to through which a combination of them gives us the categorical value. Once that has been done, the computer is able to now differentiate since it's a categorical value instead of a vector value. Now the only drawback with one hot encoding is that it increases the size of the data set according to the different categories that we have in a specific feature. Now for example, we had three values here. So we got three sets of array. That is of the first row that we have here. And the second one and the third one. Now if there is an n number of different categories, the size of the data set will be increased by n. That is one of the drawbacks of one hot encoding. Coming to the next and one of the major issues in the data present in a real life scenario is handling the missing values. Now, for example, if you take any of the consideration of any historical data or any of the IoT data or any of the one that we're talking about, there's a specific chance of error or missing values if human interaction is being involved. Now what happens with that is your model cannot take an empty value. So you have to replace the data with a minimum error free and the maximum suitable value for the same. For that let's take an example of creating a data frame first. Now data frame is one of the object which is widely used now and you can Think of it as a table like in SQL. Now for that we are using the libraries as pandas and we are calling it as pd. Once that is done we define a data frame of a two-dimensional list of containing x, a and y followed in the subject. Now once we run that we get a data frame of the values containing a, an a, n, a, b, x, y, n, a, n and y. 
Now notice what happens is NaN is a part of NP which is called from NumPy. Now NaN is elaborated as not a number which is a null value can be taken. There's a lot of cases that you might be having null values in your data sets which cannot be directly fed to the computer. And for that we need to impute them. For that we'll call from scikit-learn impute class specific function of simple imputer. Now simple imputer contains specific functions that we talk about. That is first primary parameter that you need to give is the missing values which we are having. Now in this specific case we have NaN as the missing value that cannot be always necessary. Your missing value can be represented as 0, can be represented as a very high number for example 999, can be represented by an operator symbol like plus minus or something like that. So you have to give that specific value here. In our case, it's np.nan, so we have provided that. Followed by, we have the strategies. Now, the strategy are mean, the most frequent, and the more. All of the three strategies depends on the type of data that we are dealing about. Now, for example, here we are having a kind of string data through which I cannot implement the mean, mean strategy. For that, what I have done is the most frequent one which, is, which has occurred in a specific feature will be replaced with that. Now, for example, in this one, A has occurred two times and B has occurred once. So for that, it should be replaced with A. In this one, X has occurred one and Y has occurred two times. So it should be replaced with Y. Similarly, if you have a simple mathematical, arithmetic, linear increasing data, the most suggested strategy in that is to replace it with the mean or one can define his own strategy using the same functions. Now what happens is let me execute the function calling followed by fit and transform of the data frame. Now as you can see after, this was the, our data frame previously and after we have fit and transformed the data frame my missing value is now being replaced with A as the most frequent and in the second one is with Y as the most frequent one. That is handling of the missing values. Now one should be very careful about selecting the strategy in the missing value which can lead to different kind of biases and errors. The main objective is to remove the unnecessary values in pre-processing so that our model works perfectly and to the most efficient. For that, one should be take care of the necessary steps. That was pre-processing. Now, let's move on to some of the major algorithms and model in the coming videos. Thank you.